Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create a space emblem. This tutorial is in two parts. Part 1 covers creating the background plates, and Part 2 shows how to make the stars, the spaceship, and add text. We'll start by making a new document. Go to File and New. Let's name it Space Emblem. Make the size 2475 by 1500 pixels with a resolution of 150 pixels per inch. To fit the document on your screen, press Ctrl-0 on a PC or Command-0 on a Mac. We'll make it black. If your foreground and background colors aren't black and white respectively, press D on your keyboard. Then press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill it with your foreground color. Double click on the background and we'll name it Starfield. Go to View and make sure Rulers and Snap are checked. Press Ctrl or Command T to open your Transform tool and click on the left ruler and drag out a guideline to the center. It'll snap in place because we have Snap checked. If you don't see the guideline, press Ctrl or Command H. Go to the top ruler and drag its guideline to the center. Then press Enter or Return. Click on the New Layer button to make a new layer. Invert the colors by either clicking on this curved double arrow or by pressing X on your keyboard. Open your brush tool and make the size 1600 pixels and the hardness 0%. Make the blend mode normal and the opacity 80%. Place your cursor below the crosshairs and click down once. Double click on the layer to open its layer style window. Click color overlay and the color box. For the color, type in 108BFF, then click OK on both windows. Make a new layer and fill it with black. Since black is our background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete. Go to Filter, Noise, and Add Noise. Make the amount 400, Gaussian, and monochromatic. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. Make the radius 0.3 pixels. Press Ctrl or Command L to open your Levels window. Make the input midtones 0.57. In the Layers panel, change the Blend Mode to Color Dodge. Let's merge these layers into one layer by flattening the entire image. Click on the icon in the upper right corner and click Flatten Image. Make a new layer and fill it with white by pressing Alt or Option plus Delete. Open your Custom Shape tool and choose Shape. Click on the Fill box and choose No Fill. Click on the Stroke box and the Color Picker icon. Choose black and make the stroke size 50 points. Open your shape thumbnails and click on the gear icon to open your list of shape presets. Choose shapes and click OK so we can just see this set in the thumbnail window. Click triangle and click on the gear icon at the top. Choose define proportions and from center. Open the stroke options window, choose solid stroke, and choose outside alignment, rounded caps, and rounded corners. Click on the center where their guidelines intersect and this window will appear. Type in 1200 pixels for the width. Make sure from center and preserve proportions are checked. Make a new layer and click on the fill box. Open the color picker and choose white. Click OK. Click on the stroke box. Choose white 
and change the stroke to 10 points. Click down on the crosshairs and type in 1200 pixels for the width. This makes the inside corners rounded. We'll merge the three layers into one. Shift click on the white layer to highlight the three layers. Then press Ctrl or Command plus E. Open your magic wand tool. The tolerance can be any number since the image is pure black and white. Check anti-alias and contiguous. Click inside the triangle to make a selection of it. Make a new layer and click on the foreground color. I'll choose a dark blue 09177F. Fill the selection with the foreground color and then delete the selection. Double click on the layer to open its layer styles. Click Inner Shadow and the blend mode is normal. Make the opacity 100% and uncheck Global Light. Make the distance 0, the choke 100% and the size 50 pixels. Then click OK. Click off the eyeball to hide the layer and click on the triangle frame to make it active. Click your magic wand tool on the black frame to make a selection of it. Make the top layer active and make a new layer above it. We'll name it Frame. Press Ctrl or Command plus Delete to fill the selection with the background color which is black. We can trash the black and white triangle now since we don't need it anymore. Click on the FX button and choose Bevel and Emboss. The style is Inner Bevel. The technique is Chisel Hard. The depth is 100%. The direction is Up. And the size is 5 pixels. Uncheck Global Light and make the shadow opacity 50%. Click Stroke. Make the size 10 pixels. The position outside the blend mode normal and the opacity 100%. Click the color box. I'll pick a bright turquoise 00FFF6. Click color overlay. I'll pick a dark red A20D0D. Click outer glow and pick black. Make the blend mode normal, the opacity 100%, the spread 100%, and the size 22 pixels. Then click OK. Click on the eyeball of the inner triangle to make it visible. With the top layer still active, make a new layer above it. Let's collapse the effects on the frame as well as the inner triangle to make more room. Open your elliptical marquee tool. Go below the center of the guidelines. Press and hold Shift and Alt or Shift and Option as you drag out a circular selection. To reposition it, keep holding down the keys and press and hold the space bar to move it. We want to make the foreground and background colors default to black and white. To do this, click on the black and white icon or press D on your keyboard. With white as your background color, press Ctrl or Command plus Delete to fill it with white. Then delete the selection. To slide the circle down, open your Move tool and press the down arrow on your keyboard. Double click on the circle thumbnail to open its layer style window. Click Color Overlay. I'll pick a medium blue color, 0C54E6. Click Inner Glow. I'll choose a turquoise, 19D1FF. Make the blend mode dissolve, the opacity 100%, the technique softer, the source edge, the choke 0, and the size 60 pixels. Then click OK. In part 2, we'll complete our space emblem with a spaceship, 
stars, and text. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.